Hey guys, Xbox here, and you know, I'm coming at you guys with something a little bit different. You guys can check this out. I got a uh, Mustang uh, Power Wheels here, and you know, one of the things I see a lot of kids drive these things around in my neighborhood, and what I wanted to do is actually, you know, boost this thing up. It runs off a 12 volt battery, and a lot of you guys have seen, oh, I did a 24 volt conversion, and you know what? That's cool if you did a 24, 24 volt conversion. But the thing is, is if you use two Power Wheels batteries, the weight of that is very heavy. So I wanted to do something to give it more volts, but less weight and more runtime. So you know I had a ton of RC car batteries, four cells, six cells. So I went ahead and modded this up. Let me show you what I did. So check this out, guys. This is going to be the stock uh, Power Wheels battery. These things go for, geez. I don't know, 80, 90, 80, 90 bucks, and they are heavy. I gotta say, this thing is probably, oh, I don't know, 10 pounds, somewhere in there. I mean, it's pretty freaking heavy, and, you know, it's 12 volts, and I don't know the, the I don't know how to figure out the, the milliamps on that thing, but it's okay, but it's not all that great. So then I had one of these little zippy four cell and I got my six cell coming, but I have this four cell 8,000, you know, pack here. This thing weighs, I don't know, maybe a pound, if that. I mean, somewhere right in there, but not too much. And I thought this would be nice over the, you know, give it a little more punch and have sort of the curvature when the battery dies a little bit better than one of these, where you can notice the difference when this thing starts dying. And that thing takes, my gosh, like 18 hours to charge. This thing is about an hour and a half on a six amp charger, depending if you got an eight amp, then you can do it in about an hour. So again, this is a four cell, so 14.8 volts, and this thing makes a huge difference. I can charge this thing quick. Any kids that drive the Mustang down the street, they are hauling. So let me go ahead. All right, so check it out. I went ahead and popped the hood here, and this is typically where the big battery goes. I mean, you could take this little uh, strap out right here, but what I did, is uh, at first you can actually, I, I had these in parallel and I'll show you on another Power Wheels what I did, but I went ahead and just added these alligator clips here. I was gonna solder some leads onto the front of the zippy pack, but you know, I wasn't wasn't quite sure. So I just said, you know what, for now I'm gonna try and use these clamps and they seem to work perfectly fine. All I did is just, you know, the black basically is the positive, or sorry, the black is the ground and of course the white is the uh, the white is the equal to the red. I know I have these backwards, but that's what they are. And this thing runs, again, a lot quicker and you could charge this so much faster. So it's real easy to, you know, go ahead and mod one of these up and throw a battery pack in here and you're good to go. Let me show you the battery side, sort of my step two. I haven't touched it yet, but I wanted to show you sort of what I think I should do. All right, so what I went ahead and did is, you guys know on these Mustangs basically right under the seat, and you guys can see here that these are basically like 540 size motors.